Hello everybody and welcome to a kind of special video actually. Uh, things have been going quite well for my channel recently, I I think. Uh, we're up to 134 subscribers now, which is <laughs> pretty pretty damn cool. Um, and I, I was wondering about doing a video for my 100th subscriber special. Now, I didn't know really what to do. Like I said, I never really envisioned <laughs> getting hundreds of subscribers. So... Um, I've been thinking about doing this for a little while, and what we're going to try to do here today is we are going to complete Leech Hunter, uh, which is the mini game for Resident Evil Zero. It's pretty damn hard. Um, I'll explain it as we go. Uh, so we're going to load Billy, and we're going to go to Extra. And this takes us to Leech Hunter. This is difficult. Uh, or should I say it's difficult if you don't know what you're doing. We're about to be thrown back into the uh, mansion. Or should I say the training facility of Resident Evil Zero. As Billy and Rebecca. Now we're going to be given a handgun each and 200 rounds of ammunition. Approximately a between us. We have to collect all 100 leeches. Uh, the mansion is filled with enemies. Absolutely stuffed with hunters, eliminators, uh, zombies, uh, even plague crawlers. They're all back. Um, if you die, that's it. Game over. Doesn't matter how many leeches you've captured. Now, the, the theory to this, I, mean, I do actually have the official Brady's guide to this game. <laughs> it doesn't even bother co covering this, um, which is interesting. I, I thought there would be some interesting tips uh, in there. There isn't. Um, so I'm going to put up a guide of my own, and I hope this is going to go to plan, because like I say, this is kind of easy but also insanely hard at the same time. So let's look up how to play and it should pretty much um, explain what I've said. Task outline. Find all the blue leech charms and green leech charms in the umbrella facility and exit via the mansion's front door. Leech charm features. 1. Colour and characters. Billy and Rebecca can only carry a certain colour of leech charm. Blue leech charms. Billy only. Green leech charms. Rebecca only. They cannot be exchanged. You cannot leave items. Once a player acquires a leech charm, it cannot be left. That is a problem. Number three, storable in one block. Ten leech charms can be stored in one item block. Four, number of leech charms. Blue leech charm, 50. Green leech charm, 50. 100 in total. They're definitely there somewhere. Five, game over. If you exit through the mansion front door, or if Billy or Rebecca are killed, then the game is over. A dead character's objects are not counted, so be sure to stay alive to the end. We wish you the very best of luck. Thank you, you bastards. Okay. So we're going to go to costume change. We're going to have Rebecca in her leather outfit. We're going to have Billy in his jacket. Uh, this game is also very slightly randomized, uh, and it depends what outfits you pick. Also, um, there is a 50-50 chance on top of that uh, to the item layout. But hopefully, if the sun hangs in the right place and the moon's shining down on us, we're going to have a good run. I have completed this once, back in the day, on the GameCube, you must survive in order to expose this nightmare. Um, yeah, I have completed this game, uh, this mode, once on the GameCube. I have never completed it on the... Um, okay, so what are we looking at? Okay, that's good. That's a good sign. On the Wii, uh, I've got 50 Leech Charms, 60 Leech Charms. Um... I've basically unlocked every uh, prize that you can unlock, apart from the top prize. And the top prize is unlimited ammo. So, we are going to be Billy. Now, you don't really ever need to come down this corridor here. Uh, there are two leech zombies down here. 
they are almost impossible and will guarantee you to be killed. So we're not going to fight them, but we do want the items down here. We're going to swing into here as quickly as we can. Uh, recommended to take Billy because he is tougher. He can take significantly more punishment than uh, our little friend Rebecca. So we're going to grab the shotgun ammo. And there should also... Shit, he's already changed. And we got hit there. Uh, first time I've ever been hit by this guy during my testing. Uh, this isn't even testing anymore. Oh god, it's the live thing. Keep it together, man. The other thing that I really don't like about this is the music playing in the background. It is this same music track over and over. Now, we want to head into here because in here there should be health. So what's the game setting us up with? It's setting us up with a blue... Ah, oh, sh... That's okay. So we got a blue, a red, and a green. One of each flavor. And also, I've screwed this up as well because... Let's look at my inventory. Yeah, we only have one slot. That's fine. So we're just going to have to come back here. Now, we're going to grab the blue and we're going to grab the red. We're going to uh, use the main hall as our dumping grounds as well. Because it just is uh, a convenient area. Now, we don't have the whole map, the entire game to go through. It's just the training facility. And that was being very difficult. Now, of course, remember, Billy cannot mix herbs. So, if we go to use it and combine... Billy cannot use it. So we are going to have to come back for it another time if we need it. Which, let's be honest, we probably will. Now, Billy's handgun is better than Rebecca's very slightly. Billy's handgun uh, has a slightly higher percentage chance of causing critical hits. Uh, it is a tiny chance, though. Now, power-wise, they do about the same. I can't believe I've already boozed it up by forgetting to drop the items. It doesn't matter too much, because like I say, there's absolutely no time pressure at all. So we're going to exchange that. She can have that. She can have that. And come on, Billy. Once more into this feckin' annoying place. Now, there are other weapons scattered around as well. And we are going to need them. Now, I can imagine the first time you try this, you might be uh, convinced to just charge through the corridors in any manner, uh, waving your two handguns around. It is suicide. There is a very specific way you have to cut through these enemies. But that is what I'm going to hopefully show you. What makes me nervous is the fact that I haven't actually completed this in years. We're talking 10, 10, 12 years, something like that. Now, where is that leech bastard? He's pretty easy to dodge if... Yeah, we, there we go. If we can uh, just get to the right side of him. Now, we never have to worry about that corridor. There's never any gems, any leech items in that corridor at all. There's only ever those items. And they are definitely worth picking up. So, with Billy, we're going to go through here. Ah, no, we're not. First thing we're going to do is come down here. Yep, we're going to climb down the ladder. Now, this is pretty damn crucial. Down here, we have a shotgun and um, a handful of shells. Uh, shotgun ammo, there is, to my memory, there is three boxes. Now to make this even better, can you see the shotgun? Can you see the shotgun there anywhere? No. No you can't. You have to find this. The shotgun is hidden beneath the water. So there. Now through here is certain death. We don't have the equipment to go in there yet. So we're going to backtrack. And so help that hop hog if this video fucks up. 
so help it. Okay. So I'm not actually going to use the shotgun just yet. And we're going to drop that. Rebecca is going to top up our bullets. Although it might seem... No, we're doing that the wrong way. Although it might seem a good idea in theory... Why is that not working? There we go. Uh, to take both characters along, it is kind of counterproductive. Because if you get cornered and you both start taking damage, that's twice the healing items you need to use. So in here should be the undead. Some zombies. Yep. Yeah. There's also a hell of a lot of luck that is involved here. Never leave yourself open to a manual reload. Uh, an auto reload, I should say. If you have to slap a magazine into your gun, you're, you've screwed up big time. So we're going to hopefully keep doing this combined. Come on, zombie. This is what you want. There you go. Now, there is a knife on the table. Uh, pick it up. And you <laughs> pick it up, and it's suicide. So these suckers are still up. Not today, buddy. And might I just take this moment to say just how stunning the graphics of this game still are. Now, through here should be some zombies sleeping. They're not much of a problem, so... We're just going to slyly put bullets in them. Now, the game is a bit of a dick. And what I mean by that is when you start collecting the leeches, when you get to about... Not between 90 and 95 uh, leeches, the game will start respawning certain areas with enemies. By this time, if you're playing uh, correctly, or should I say if you're playing the right way, um, the easier way, you would have dropped all your weapons so you can just go around and pick up uh, all the leeches. Uh, so the game kind of screws you over big time there. Now, we are about to go down. So why isn't it showing me? Uh, okay. Never mind. We're going to go down anyway. It's best to come down here early-ish. We didn't want to go through the other area because the other area is full of hunters. Ah, uh, remember this room. It's the Circle of Life room. I'm going to grab our shotgun. <sighs> Be ready as soon as we go through there. It's our first hunter. He shouldn't get a swipe. There we go. He's down. Right, yeah, bastard. Get up. You want any more of this? Of course you do. See you in hell. There, he should throw a fit and die. So we're going to slap some more shells in this sucker. Now, one interesting thing about the map is it will highlight rooms that you've been in by showing them up as green. Make sure that you have killed every enemy in that room. Shut up and die. Another good thing is feeling the items. Uh, it's a funny term, but what they mean by that is pick up an item, and then um, if you don't have space for it, don't pick it up again. Don't actually put it in your inventory, because then it will show up on your map. There we are. So if you need health, you know it's there. This room is a pain in the ass, because I believe it's stuffed to the gills with zombies. Now, if um, I believe if you get unlucky, uh, unlucky? <laughs> I'm losing my mind already. If you get unlucky, 
Rebecca can be killed with just three zombie bites. Hear that guy's head pop then? That was a godsend. Now these military zombies are quite tough. Please be dead. They are. Now notice the big flashing item in the corner. That is a grenade launcher. You better believe we're going to be making some use of that. So we have another herb. Come on, pick that herb up. Mark it on the map. Now I'm not sure how I'm going to do this video. Uh, whether I'm going to do this video by just all in one shot or whether I'm going to cut it in half, I don't know. Because this is a long, long game. Which is all the more frustrating when you get towards the end and die. Okay. Now that music really starts to grate on me. Uh, there's no way that I know of turning it off. So in this room... I think in that room... There is either... Eliminators which could be a problem, or Hunters. I actually would prefer to fight Hunters over Eliminators. It's Zombies! Alright, we lucked out then. There we go, we can just spend a couple of shells and most of these guys should be finished. Yeah, we got one more left. We should be able to take him out with Billy's handgun. Come on. Take him out. If you leave one enemy alone when you come back to pick up uh, the leeches, it's not good. You can be killed so easily. Now, bearing in mind, going around this place and cleaning this area out, just cleaning it out of enemies can take up to an hour, depending on uh, your path and how efficient you are. So, what I would like to do now is to drop the shotgun and come back and pick up the grenade launcher. Perhaps shouldn't have brought the shotgun with me, but it did help out. Don't worry too much about wasting certain uh, items, certain ammo. There are plenty of shotgun shells. So let's go back to the main hall with Rebecca. Now this is where it can be handy to take Rebecca with you, because you can use her to drop items off. But like I say, she's very, very, very weak, and there's nothing more frustrating than uh, doing quite well and uh, turning around to watch uh, a hunter rip out her throat when you think you're about to be victorious. Not cool game. Not cool. Now I'm going to drop my shotgun here. Uh, yeah, we'll leave. We will... We're going to throw some more rounds in that. We're going to nick some more ammo off her. Can I please have some bullets? Oh, damn it. I'm giving them to her. Right. So we have 15. She's got 15. She's got herbs. We've got that. Blah, 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 blah. In fact, actually, if we... Let's think about this. Now, remember, we cleared that area out. So if we leave that, we're going to leave that. Okay, we can't leave any more items in this room. Us. I was going to say, since we're going back there, we might as well pick up as many of those herbs as possible. Because this is going to be our main room. Our staging area, if you will. Now, if anybody remembers this game, you'll know that there are two red fire doors. Uh, you do need to unlock them. And yes, you do need to find the key. Uh, so that's kind of a pain in the ass. 
They're coming, Bill. Damn, the game does look fantastic still. After all these years. You know what, Capcom? Just remake this. Remake it in 1080p, 60 frames a second for the new consoles. I get tired of telling Capcom and giving Capcom ideas to make money. They never listen. I think Resident Evil fans have been screaming out for these games to be remade as well. Um, I don't know. I don't know where their thought process is. I don't know why they didn't do it. <clears throat> it seems like a no-brainer. Okay, so let's grab that. And we are going to grab that. And we're going to grab the green. And that's pretty much all we have space for. Now, <clears throat> I don't know why Billy can't mix herbs. It uh, doesn't seem to be a very difficult skill, to be fair. I mean, from what I've seen of it, they just crumple the herbs up onto a bit of paper. Yeah, maybe he hasn't got any paper with them. I guess that might make sense. So, we're going to equip that sucker. And we're going to go down here. Now, <sighs> hunter alert. Oh, you get, get off me. Get off me. There you go. I like the way he kicks him in the bollocks. Unfortunately, sometimes they take two. No, we got lucky there. Sweet. Okay, so let's have a look at our map. Now that room's full of zombies. Don't really want to waste ammo on those zombies if I can help it. So we're going to go back. Now we're victim to poor planning here on my part. Very poor planning I might add. But that's okay. Doesn't matter how long it takes you to get through this, as long as you get through it. So what we need to take, we need to grab the shotgun. And what else? I'm trying to think. We want the shotgun. Possibly the grenade launcher. I'm not sure, I haven't decided. But we are going to need some slots because there isn't a really important item down there that we need. Now that item does happen to be of the 45 caliber variety. So, we, we want to drop the herbs, but we're having trouble because we can't drop any more items in this room. Now, does this count as a different area? No. But up here it does, I believe. I'm sure this counts as a different area. No, it doesn't. Bugger. Okay, game. So we're going to have to swap things around. So we want our handgun. So ah, actually, I'm doing this the ham-fisted way. Let's get Rebecca. Why won't it let me swap things with her? There we go. So we want to exchange that for that, that for that. Now Rebecca, use your mixing set, which I can only assume contains vast quantities of paper. don't really... I... Okay, let's be Rebecca for a little bit. And let's get her to pick up another herb. At least that gets rid of another item. Because that is one big pain in the ass of this. Being up to your eyeballs and items. We're going to combine. Can we leave any of those? We can. So let's jump back over to Bill. And Rebecca can have that. 
and she can have that. And we are going to pick up the shotgun. Now, how many rounds does the shotgun have? It has a full seven. In fact, we've got the twenty. Yeah, okay, we're fine. Now, can Rebecca have all of these? Doesn't look like it. So, we might as well just drop those. Okay. And we'll drop the shotgun shells as well. We're going to drop the shotgun shells in this room though. I don't know why they limited the um, the item space in each room. I mean, maybe it was a RAM issue, I, but I doubt it. So let's leave that. Because we do need two item slots. But hopefully that will clear this area out. We've got a grenade launcher and we've got a shotgun, so we are going into this area heavy. Oh, Bill. Get a tight grip of that grenade launcher. I can't promise you're going to come out of this unscratched. However, if we do come out of this unscratched, we're doing bloody well. Now, through this door, I believe, and I pushed the wrong button, is the zombies. Yeah, yeah, okay, we got zombies through here. So we're going to switch up to the 12 gauge. Now, eliminators, that is a different story. Eliminators. They're nasty. I hate them. Off with his head. Come on, guys. Can you two share? No. Wow, that is a greedy bastard. Three shotgun shells to decapitate him. Not happy, buddy. Not happy. There's nothing in here by the look of things. Nope, it's just, just items. That's cool. So the next area then Okay. Damn it. This music is grating on me. Ah. It just repeats over and over again. Oh no, this isn't the eliminators area. I was completely wrong. This is quite a nasty area, though, to be fair, because we have spiders. Spiders that can poison us, and we've been poisoned. That's only poison, just use a blue herb. Yeah, that sounds fine on paper. However, there are only four... Bl uh, four? Ooh, I wish. There are only three blue herbs uh, in this game. Did I just say three? I mean two. Look at me, wishful thinking. Yes, there are two blue herbs in this particular setup. There's another setup where you only get one. Come on. Play crawlers. Not good. There should be two. Two and a green. I don't really want to pick up the green herb, to be fair, because I don't need to use it. And, of course, if we go up top, we have nowhere to put it. Now, there are no enemies in the other room, which is the weapons locker. So we don't have to worry about that. But, let's go in here anyway. There's sometimes... Yep, there is. There is one. There's one uh, gem. Now, I hate being poisoned in this game. I don't know how long it takes to kill you. So I am slightly worried. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go pick up that green herb so Billy can have it as a snack on the way back. Because dying now would be tragic, quite frankly.
Okay, so we're just going to use that straight up. Another problem that, I can't remember if I said this or not, but another problem that can come into later on is not being able to find all the leeches. Turn around, Bill. We're done here, at least for the moment. We will have to return <coughs> to pick up those uh, little leeches. That's the most tedious part of it, when you have to come back round and pick up the leeches, because my god, does it take some time. I know it hurts, buddy. I know you're about to redecorate the walls with your own vomit. But there is a blue herb just up here. Now, if I can visually... Try and visualize where the enemies are. That would make things a lot easier. So let's go back and get a herb and we're going to clear out the top floor of the dining area. Or the main hall, I should say. Got shotgun shells. Don't need those just yet. Now there are three rooms... Is there three or four? I can't remember now. Three or four rooms that are full of hunters. Come on, pick it up. Pick it up, Bill. I'm going to use it. Oh, we're on yellow caution. So, you know what? Let's help ourselves to a green herb there. We have plenty of them. Okay, so now we're now on fine. Um, so let's think about this. We want to... we drop the shotgun for now. And we'll go back to our trusty handgun. We'll keep the grenade launcher on us because it's going to be vital to the next section. Okay. Now, what I was uh, getting confused with is the eliminators and all the nasty shit is down there. That is not a fun place to be. Billy's lost many a testicle down there. Uh, right. So, is this the crow room, or is this the zombie room? It's the crow room. Now, crows aren't actually that hard to hit in this game. Now, you don't really have to take them out, but it is very annoying to be felled by a crow at the last hurdle. And they're not impossible to hit either, like uh, in Umbrella, not Umbrella, um, Outbreak. In Outbreak, they are dicks. They are so hard to hit. But that's fine, because I think we're on fine health. Yeah, yeah, we're good. We actually did that quite well, folks. Damn, I need some more tea. Okay. Now, as I said before, uh, when you start collecting the leeches and you get to a certain certain amount of them, the game will respawn enemies. But that is why it's quite important that you pick up um, your leeches in a, a certain order. Come on, let's hear some pops. Oh shit, look at me, not even hearing my own advice there. See that? You land on an empty chamber, you screwed the game. So let's exit. We're very low on health. Bill is aiming at the floor. Not a good place to be. Check our ammo. It is pretty damn easy, I've got to be honest, to not think about your ammo. Let's get that one. Prioritize targets. 
And I hear him hit the floor. Damn, that guy's getting up again. There are really still two of them left. Now they're over the other side of the table. I like to be able to see what I'm shooting. Come on. That should be all of those guys. Okay. That cost a lot of ammo, but it was worth it. Although I did forget to reload and see how punishing it is when you forget to reload. Make a single mistake in this and it can cost you the whole run. Okay, so that is these top two floors cleaned out. Now remember, every room that's green is cleaned out. As you can see, we have a long way to go. So let's go up here next. Now hear that? Plague crawlers. There's a lot of plague crawlers here. But we're not going to worry about them. Because of this trick. Come on, fellas. This way. Yeah, you can try. For some reason, uh, I guess a design flaw in the game, these plague crawlers cannot get through this area. So, blast away. One hand behind your back. Yeah, it doesn't feel so good to be at such a disadvantage, does it? Bastards. Now, these play crawlers are tough. They take a lot of hits. We can enjoy that reload animation there. One left. There we go. A slide a fresh magazine into that puppy. Now, there we have... A handy ass tool. Magnum rounds. Now, don't get too excited. It's a single magnum round. We're going to keep that very close to us. Because it's absolutely essential. Right, now this area is just zombies. I'm going to take these guys out quick as we can. Don't get that close, Bill, you bastard. I'm not going out. No way. Come too far. Now, sometimes this guy gets up through uh, twice. No, he's bled out. He's done. Okay. So that looks like a zombie banquet right here. If we started descending that ladder, we'd most likely have most of our buttocks missing by the time we got off the bottom rung. Luckily, you can rain fire down from the top. Keep working with. You would have thought headshots would be almost a given from this angle, but sadly not. Come on, guys. I know you're not done yet. Okay. Is that that? Oh, Christ. Turn around, Bill. Actually, oh, God. Another noob mistake there. I noticed that guy on the floor. He's not down. He only took two bullets, though. Luckily, we do have a herb here. We're still on caution, but... At least it's not bad caution. Now, you can't go any further this way. So that's this area pretty much done. So the next point of cool is through this way. In fact, I don't know. Should we? No, no, no. We're not going to do this area yet. What we're going to do next is... Probably 
uh, arguably the hardest part. We're going to go get ourselves the Magnum. And we're already running into the 40 minute territory here. Okay. We want that Magnum. We might as well have a green herb whilst we're at it. Uh, we've only got F8 spray. Right, okay, okay. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll take one of these with us. Doesn't matter uh, whether you use mixed herbs or whether you use F8 sprays. There's no penalty in this game whatsoever for using health items. How could there be, right? Hmm, let me think. What's best to go down there with? I'm going to say, I don't know why I can't get the map for that area up. I'm going to say, the shotgun might be the better investment actually. And of course we need two blocks to carry it. So let's drop that, that, and that. And we're going to take our 12 gauge for a little walk with us. Now I have made tons of mistakes in this video, uh, such as the Let's Players Curse, it's always the way. You can have an absolutely pro run off camera and uh, be feeling pretty happy and chuffed with yourself. And then you uh, start recording and you play like ass. Always the way it goes. And I am gonna cut this video up. Now there's another shotgun down here. It's quite interesting, I thought. There's two shotguns in this bit. But we're not going to obviously take both of them, but what we are going to do is when we go down here, if we empty our shotgun, we chuck the other one away and we pick up the new one. Spiders! Bloody spiders! Best thing for them is this. Remember, we can heal ourselves of poison once more. Okay, that worked pretty well, actually. Um, shit. If you've poisoned me, you little shitter. Okay, we're fine. Now, I believe there's one more. Yes! It doesn't feel so good, does it? Now, through here, the monitor room. This... Actually, this is full of zombies, I believe. Yeah. The save room has an eliminator in it, at least one. And the room it leads into is also full of eliminators. Those guys don't play around. If you don't have the heavy equipment, it's most likely game over. Yeah, zombies. Nice. Next. Beautiful. Batter up. Oh shit. Now that can happen. Uh, sometimes these guys can be very resilient to... We're not going to reload that now. They can be very resilient to the old uh, shotgun. He should be dead. Yeah. Now. Now we have eliminators. Oh. Okay. Eliminators is it? It is. But we want what's in here. Apart from the... Oh no, this isn't Eliminators. This is... Yes! This is Hunters. Yep. Believe it or not, Hunters aren't as bad as Eliminators. Eliminators are faster, for sure. Um... 
but hunters are a lot easier to hit. Damn it, I'd probably put a shell into him. There we go. Now, we can't afford to waste any more, um, uh, any more grenade ammo. It's already pre-owned from this point. Right, so we're going to drop that. We're going to pick up this shotgun. And the shells. So, how many shells have we got? Hell oh, yeah, we got 37 shotgun shells. Let's have some fun. I am going to take that because we've got to fight these Eliminators. For anybody who doesn't remember what the Eliminators are, we're just about to see them. They're quite terrifying in their own little way. Now, my instinct is telling me to go back and pick up some more ammo, but... <sighs> or some more health, I should say. Because through here, it's messy. <clears throat> I am concerned that we are going to be coming up to an hour before this is done. Yep. Get out of here, you bastards. Batter up. Who's next? You? Oh, double shot. That's what I'm talking about. Let's put some more shells in that sucker. That hammer hits an empty fucking chamber here. We are sodden screwed. Come on, you bastard. Is that it? Nope. You get filthy disease paws off me, you bastard. Let's slide some more cartridges into that thing. Okay. Now through here is a nice little prize, but um, we're going to have to fight for it. Come on monkeys. Oh shit. Best thing to do here is to stay in this corner and hope for the best. Shit. And you can see just how easy it is to waste cartridges. Now, they don't do as much damage as Hunters, but they can stun lock you into the corner. And they're a lot more agile. See how tough they are. Shit, and there we go. Reloading. So let's chew that down. Remember the part when I said we had 37 shotgun shells? How many do we have left? We have 16. That was expensive. But that's okay, because this room pays for itself. Although... Uh, let's grab the Magnum. What a beautiful piece of machinery. It's got eight fat slugs in it. So let's combine, reload that. We've got nine shells, which is too many to leave behind, if I'm honest. Bugger. All right, well, you know what this means. We're going to have to go back and drop some stuff off. The Magnum is uh, very much a key item here. Now, a Magnum, or should I say the Magnum, will one-shot any enemy uh, in this area, apart from perhaps leech zombies. In fact, I have no clue how good it is against leech zombies. Uh, I've never wanted to waste it. But where we're going, we're going to need the Magnum and the... I think. We're going to need the Magnum and the handgun. So, can we drop that? Yes. Um, uh, it's alright, we don't need to drop that anyway. 
So let's go pick up our pocket cannon. And then we've pretty much cleared everywhere out. We've just got the left and the right wing to do, which isn't too hard. He says confidently now, but it can so totally go south so fast. I can't believe this bit's going to take an hour. I hope nobody minds long videos. Okay. I always get sketched out as well. I'm always expecting the game to like respawn uh, something nasty in these rooms. This is a little surprise. Now where? Okay, so we've got that. Nice. So as you can see, we have uh, 8 shotgun shells plus 5, giving us a total of 13 precious shots. And we, you better believe it, we're going to need each and every one. A wasted magnum shot in this can prove fatal to your progress. And I'm not going to lie, just about every one of those rounds is going to be planted squarely between a hunter's eyes. At least that's the theory. Okay, so we have that and we have that. We're not going to use the shotgun. Oh, we can't, can we? We're going to have our handgun back now. So let's swap it. That. No, what we're going to do now, we're going to clean out the basement. The basement is fairly easy. The only trouble with it is uh, there's a few hunters down here. Yeah, you know, one, there's not much to worry about. Two, doable. Two, certainly doable. Three, three's going to be trouble. Four is a real shitty time. But five, oh yes. Five hunters are in this room. If you don't have this, you're going to have a bad time. You can just about do it if you take uh, both guys and you both have um, your handguns. Because this room is quite large. One. Two. Oh shit, see that? He jumped. We missed. That is not good. Three. Four. See that? I don't know how that's missing. That is really not good. We've wasted two of these precious, precious rounds. Uh, shit. Six. Six left. Oh no, we didn't waste. We didn't waste one. We only wasted one. That's cool. That's alright. Now this is what we need here. We need the fire key. Now the two rooms that this key opens up are, I guess the game wants you to believe they're bonus rooms. There are no enemies in those rooms, they're just full of um, items. At least I don't think there's any, wait a minute, wait a minute, let me think about that. There's definitely no enemies in the kitchen. The other fire room, I'm not so sure now I've said it. Okay, don't quote me on that, guys. Now, we have six fat torpedoes left. That's not good. Because we have three... Yeah, three rooms still full of hunters. There is approximately 18, 17, 18 hunters left. That is a wild estimate. But it is... Yeah, there's about that many left. Uh, we're going to keep that on us. Okay, so to do this, we want to leave that. Oh, we can't, can we? We're going to want our handgun back. Oh, no, we've still got that one. That one round there. Okay, so Rebecca, you can change that for that. You know what? Let's start dragging Rebecca along with us because there isn't too much left. 
to be fair. And uh, doubles the firepower against zombies. I say doubles, you know, she should uh, be as effective as me, but she won't be. She might let off the odd round here and there, but... Um, okay, she doesn't need... I don't think there's anything left that can poison us. No, we still... Yeah, of course, of course, of course. So she's going to be muling around health. So Billy, pick up that last slug on the floor there. Very carefully slide that last slug into the magazine. Don't drop it. Uh, okay. So let me think. We want Rebecca. Rebecca is with us, so technically we can drop zombies. We're going to grab... We can drop that herb now. No, we'll drop that one because that was useless. Rebecca can have that. So we've got that. So that's the leech killer. That's the hunter killer. And... Rebecca has the zombie killer. Okay. And I'll apologise if there's too much crackling uh, on the mic. I get rather excited when I play this. Like I say, folks, you never know what's going to happen. So we're going to grab that. And we've pretty much got all the weapons we need. Yeah. However, I may... No, okay, we're gonna keep what we have on us. Come, Rebecca, this way. Come on. Roger. You're allowed to join in this time. So let's go through here. We have, yeah, just the two wings left. Now let's play as Rebecca and then open up this door. This room is going to be a nightmare. Two FA sprays. Yep. Billy. Get that sucker ready. Now, I can't remember how many of the bastards are in this room. Too many, if I'm honest. But. That's what we're here for. Damn, I cannot believe they can avoid that so easily. Now, see what I mean? This illustrates the problem with taking Rebecca with you. Because, uh, although... In fact, she can have that. Um, because we're both grouped up in the corner and the enemies are um, coming straight at us, if they swipe for Billy, they hit both characters. So you're essentially... Uh, gonna need double the health items. Now it's not too bad for us because we have so many health items now. Now there's one more. There he is. Yeah, dick. And we're gonna grab. No, Billy, don't grab that. You couldn't pick it up if you wanted to. Use it. Okay. What I'm going to do after this bit, folks, is I am going to cut the video off because I don't want to go too much over an hour. So let's climb up here. I can't believe this has taken so long. But this will explain why I get so annoyed when it goes south. Right, so we just got zombies out here. Two of us can make short work of these guys. Come on, zombie. Two fresh brains for your delicate palate. Also, another reason that I've decided to do this today, I've just found out randomly that I've got a day off tomorrow. So I can spend all day rendering the videos. If they work. I'll be honest, even if I fail this, I'm going to upload it. If for some reason I screw this up bad, Okay. You dead? 
Wow, that guy, that guy was serious. Now, one thing I am also worried about is if I split this into two videos, which I'm about to do, that effectively doubles the chance for a video to go wrong with the hot bog. Right. Okay, so I'm going to cut this ex wave of extermination off here. And uh, when we come back, we're going to have two wings to take out. And then we are going to go through the uh, mansion or training facility one by one, picking up these items. That's all we got left there, guys. But we are going to have to retrace our steps through every single room. Ah, the second fire door. Yep, I've just spotted it. It does have enemies in, them, in there, but they're only zombies. Okay. Right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I've certainly enjoyed bringing this to you. It's quite exciting, actually. And uh, I'll catch you in the next video.